AI or not AI? That is the question. Yo, YouTube, uh, I mean, I got hot acidic diarrhea right now. Uh, the shit is like Niagara Falls, quite literally. But I wake up and then I saw that maybe a Drake AI fucking diss, maybe a real diss. DJ Academics is on it. It's on Complex's fucking Twitter. And I was like, I, I wasn't going to stream today, right? Because I don't feel good. I was like on Twitter and there's no way that I could avoid it type shit, you know? Like, there was no way that I could avoid listening to even a single second of the song. Uh, so I was like, bro, I have to record it. I don't know if it's AI. I don't know if it's legit. Uh, legit sources are posting it, but I don't know if they're getting got by how good AI is now. But knowing me and how Drake stan I am, I feel like I'm fairly good at determining whether it's actually Drake's pin or if it's AI's pin. Because you can have Drake's voice, but Drake has a very particular pin. Uh, he has a very particular sound the way he raps is very particular so we'll see follow us on stream ladies and gentlemen obviously we're doing this live just like i tell you every single video for the past three years join stream already fuck and if you don't join patreon all this shit goes on patreon first so consider joining over there it supports the channel but other than that three minutes and 53 seconds of dissing the entire industry let's fucking get it mm. okay. i wanted him to be on a fucking if this is real, I wanted him to be on a Conductor Williams beat, low key. Hey, I can no never friends nobody in the industry. It's this, this. This sounds like no friends in the industry, which is a Kanye diss. So. Hey, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I don't know how many times I gotta fucking say it, guys. And I know you don't like to hear it, especially on YouTube for some reason. Y'all think that I'm cocky because I say that I'm the greatest at this reaction shit, regardless of numbers, regardless of subscribers. I literally said the same shit in the Kendrick Lamar and fucking J. Cole diss. I said that it's ironic that Kendrick is going after Drake when the label on the original shit was like, damn, we really don't have anything marketable here. Let's get Drake on the line and put him on fucking Poetic Justice. I said that two weeks ago. What's crazy about his first shit though, classic, but the label was like, we still need Drake on this bitch. Did they not do that? Did they not say, ah, this shit is gas, but there's not really anything to like promote the album like that. Let's put Drake on fucking Poetic Justice. Kind of ironic. Fuck, I'm good. <laughs> Number one fan, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo, you because can't I'm get booked outside Japan. America, bro. I'm a hit maker, y'all depend on backstage Ooh. in my city. It was friends on. You Ooh. won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Just the part <laughs> with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, whole career, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Oh my god, bro. Extortion, baby. The Oh my god. I know my pictures on y'all wall when y'all cook up. Do y'all play sports? And then like whenever you got like your rival team coming up, the rival team, like you, like you circle it on your calendar. Like this is the big game that we're looking forward to. That's basically what he's talking about right here. This rap game is a sport and y'all got me circled on your fucking calendar. Don't ever forget it. Extortion, baby, whole career, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Hey. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, didn't think about the fact that drake has never had to write a verse for anybody outside of the genre that he didn't feel like he needed to or wanted to i didn't think about that till right fucking now maroon 5 taylor swift i forgot that kendrick has done those things i still think it's ai but shit is gas 
Like he don't Drake don't even got a drop now. If this is not a if this is not actually Drake and this is AI, AI just did everything for him. The huh, that is such a fucking crazy ad lib, bro. It's crazy because like uh Kendrick's ad libs are like that and shit. I don't know. This is the way that Drake would rap. Okay, this is the way that Drake would diss. J Cole definitely has like I respect you too much and I want to protect my own peace. So the diss was like a warning shot and it wasn't really that strong of a diss. That we're not even halfway through this song and this song is already infinitely better than the than the than J Cole's diss. Cause Drake don't give a fuck. Drake don't give a fuck about no positive energy drake's drake i need him to go out the entire fucking industry and slay them all so that way i could have been right my entire life i could have been right my entire life when i said that he's the goat and i know it makes fucking rap motherfuckers mad when i say that but he's the goat Bone five need a verse you better make it witty then we need a verse for the swifties top say drop you better drop and give them 50. he did go crazy on that swifty bar you ain't in no big three scissor got you wiped down travis Ooh. got you wiped down savage got you wiped down like your label boy you in a scope right now and you gonna feel that like your label you're in the scope right now <laughs> I thought he had his own label, PG Lang. Is that a record label? Is Interscope doing the distribution? I don't know. I don't know like the complexities of the PG Lang fucking shit that goes down. Oh, big three, scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. <laughs> I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Oh my God, bro. He said, I'm at the top of the mountain just to have this conversation with you. I had to hike down. I had to hike down is fucking crazy. And Interscope Aftermath, Shady Records, Lady, you know, Interscope Aftermath. OS, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah. Ooh. See, it's, it's a line like that that makes me think that this isn't Drake. Because I Drake could just be, he could just be being so, like, the most petty that he's ever been. But Drake's pen is very, is much more fluid than that. It's much more fluid than that. It's much more succinct. Even if it is direct like that, it's not so, like, not cringy. Not that that was cringy, but it's, like, very rough around the edges type shit. You know what I mean? Like, very rough around the edges. He would have found a more fluid way to say that same thing. Metro, show ass, shut your hoe ass up and make some drums but the prince to a prince to a king he's a son that's crazy considering that he wears the crown and he did say that he said what did he say in the what did he say in the shit to drake oh prince outlive mike jack i did see everybody on twitter saying that drake didn't understand that bar and i'm like first off this isn't drake second off yes he did I, everybody knows what fucking kind what he meant he meant that prince outlive mike jack because he literally died before michael jackson and drake's just flipping it again and saying a whole different thing like you call yourself prince and you call me michael jackson that means you're my son bitch prince to a king he a son nigga get more love in a city that you find nigga metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga yeah i'm the six god i'm the front runner y'all nigga manager was charles little blunt runner Playing the six <laughs> and boys ain't even come from it and when you boys got rich you had to run from it cash blown oh my god bro is he talking about the weekend right here is he talking about the weekend right here fuck man what could have been also drake did hoe him on fucking take care though if we're being honest with you if us as drake fans are being honest with ourselves Drake hold him. I don't even have Take Care as Drake's number one album because I know how much that sound was influenced by The Weeknd. And I know how much was written by The Weeknd in terms of like the hooks. That's why Take Care is not number one for me. Take Care is not number one for me because it's half a fucking... It's it's half there's three or four songs minimum that were the weekend songs that Drake said let me pay you for these so I can put them on my shit. And if we're being honest with ourselves, even if that wasn't the case, nothing was the same as better. <laughs> nothing was the same as better. Y'all are blinded by nostalgia. Go look objectively. Nothing was the same as better. I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even crazy. come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. That is crazy because he's not from the six. He's from Ontario, Canada. It is insane that he does that he does claim that. That's like me claiming Austin. Never that. Who the fuck wants to claim Austin? Fucking white liberals. That's who. Keep him. Keep Austin weird. Fuck you. Go back to Canada. Go back to California. No disrespect, Wibs. And when you 
boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like wicky, you wicky. tryna fuck, boy you tripping, boy you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if your BM start to kiss and tell. Cause he kisses, man, don't tell me. <laughs> that shit'll probably change if your baby mama start to kiss and tell. It's so crazy. Turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if your BM start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy. Ayy, I'll be with some. Bodyguards like Whitney, top say drop your little midget ass, better fucking hey, better drop. <laughs> Dropped your midget. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, we don't call them midgets anymore, my boy. Nah, it's still, still kind of funny. I still can't tell. I don't feel like this is AI. I mean, I don't feel like this is Drake, personally. And somebody said that it is him because they copyrighted the song. I think it's gotten to the point where AI is so good that you can copyright the sound of your voice because they're using your late your your name image and likeness so it's not necessarily about if drake owns the copyright to it it's more about he owns the copyright to his whole voice in every fucking chain i own next visit hey and this whole every chain i own next visit shit this is just not this is just not it right here i mean it's not that it's not it but it's not drake yeah i know kendrick's name kendrick's wife's name is whitney and then the whitney bodyguard that might be over some of you gen z's heads but that's fuck whitney wrote the song for the movie bodyguard with kevin costner I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Hey, better drop and give me 50, hey, drop and give me 50, drop and give me 50, hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50, hey, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living, I might take your latest girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky, can't believe like he I'm jumping Ricky. in this nigga turning 50, every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy, spend that little check you gotta stay up out my business, nigga shout out to the Rick Ross is getting it right here. Either Rick Ross or Future because they're both old heads. I think it's Rick Ross. I think Rick Ross is actually of the age to be almost 50. And most of Rick Ross's money, if we're being honest, most of his biggest hits are Drake features. Outside of the one fucking track, 222. I don't think I could tell you a Rick Ross fucking track like that. Rick Ross is like future to me. Like, I'm not listening to a whole album of this motherfucker. And if we're being completely honest, like he sounded good on Kanye's track. What's Devil in a New Dress? He sounded good on that, on that motherfucker. But what the fuck was he talking about that whole verse? Can somebody tell me? You can't because he's just fucking word soup. But it sounds fire. Looking at your bitch, I bet she give your ass a bone. Looking at my wrist, said it turn your ass to stone. Stretch Rose, he sipping Rose all alone. I feel like Rick Ross makes way more money from Wingstop, <laughs> Wingstop shits than he does from rap. And I feel like Drake, if this was truly a Drake, I feel like if this was truly a Drake track, he would mention that. Like, keep your fat ass over there with Wingstop. Leave the rap money to me. This girl a cuffle like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga, I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs, drop and give me 50, drop, drop. Bro, this for all the top dogs, drop and give me 50 is so crazy because he's going after like basically everybody who's anybody in their respective sp position so obviously that's a john morant diss right there and obviously john morant is one of the superstars in the league rick ross is one of the biggest names kendrick's obviously top three futures most influential trap artists of all time metro boom is probably the number one producer in the fucking game right now but also top dog was the name of kendrick's label before he went pj Lang, before he went pg lang like all these different like there's moments in here where i'm like damn this sounds just like drake but then there's moments in here where i'm like damn this doesn't sound like drake at all so just the fact that i have that doubt makes me think that this isn't real but he's going crazy shit for bitches this for all the top dogs drop and give me 50 drop drop and that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us this shit being brewing in a pot now i'm heating up hey. i don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck champagne tripping he is not fucking easy enough nigga mm. calling top to see a top want a piece of the top want a piece of the top want a piece of the nah pussy now you on your own when you speaking up you don't roll deep to this is not fucking deep enough making cops or not boy you not fucking beating us numbers wise i'm out of here you not fucking creeping up hey. money wise i'm out of here you not fucking sneaking up corn by your show Money, merch, money, feed us. I'ma let you.
Your show money is merch money fee to us? <laughs> Did he say Kaisenat? I thought I heard that. I don't know what he said. Did he say begging Kaisenat? It's crazy that labels treat Kaisenat and Aiden Ross like A&Rs now or like press tours. Like literally if you're putting out an album or his track, you go to their shit. Merch money feed us. Merch I'm money feed us. Work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to beam enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to beam enough. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. What the fuck are you smoking on, Kendrick? Mm. Yeah. All right, see, like, that shit right there, that is not Drake's voice. I'm sorry to tell you. I was really trying to keep shit PG, though. PJ, PG Lane, you're telling me that Drake sounds like this when he sings? That, huh, is not even strong enough, like, alone. I mean, the shit is gas. It's a good fucking diss, right? Like it's it's it. This is what motherfuckers thought the control verse on Big Sean shit was. Motherfuckers swore that that verse was this verse. If the way everybody reacted to the control verse, that's how they should be reacting to this verse. Uh, it's fire. It's fire, but I don't think it's him. Turns out Drake was AI all along. Maybe the AI, maybe the AI was the Drakes we made along the way. <laughs> is AI in the room with us? Uh, yeah, I think it's AI. It's really hard to say just because it's not like officially on a lossless platform like Apple Music or like or on official platforms that have WAV files. I feel like it's not Drake's nature, especially when he disses. I feel like it's not Drake's nature to just release a leak. I feel like he would just put the fucking song out. People that need leaks are people that not at Drake's size or caliber or consistency or quality of music. Leaks are to like test out. Uh, so like when Jack Harlow put out that shit, like a leak like that or a snippet is like to test out the waters. Not necessarily like Drake doesn't need to do that. It's a ghostwriter. If Kanye West doesn't think that Drake ghostwrites and he has a legitimate beef with him, why the fuck would anybody else think that? I don't believe it's Drake, personally. Academics has been known to just hype shit just to get the views and just be just to be a clickbait farmer. Him saying that this is the official, he got the mastered version or whatever. Academics is the boy who cried wolf, bro. Academics is the boy who cried wolf. I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you because your track record doesn't allow me to believe you type shit. No disrespect. Bring me on the shit if you want to debate academics. I really feel like if Drake does slay the entire music industry and then John Morant catches a stray in there out of nowhere, I feel like if he does that, then there's no fucking debate. He's the greatest rapper of all time. There's no debate to be had. He's a better rapper than Tupac and Biggie. Most rappers are better. Than, I don't know about better. He is on par. OK, I said better last time, but he is on par with Tupac and Biggie. He's on par with Andre 3000. He's on par with anybody that you hold in high regard. He is on par, if not better than that rapper. Motherfuckers don't want to admit it. They always want to cope with the, they always want to cope with the fucking, oh, he's got, he's got ghostwriters. Ghostwriters wrote that for him. You know who, you know who says that? You know who says that ghostwriters write? You know who says that Drake is a pop artist and he just happens to rap? You know who says these kind of things? People that don't listen to Drake. That's who says those things. Because if you listen to Drake, you're like, there's no fucking way that you're really saying that. Like, if you truly listen with an unbiased ear, there's no way that you're saying that. What will you do if K-Dot dismantles him? I don't think he will is the problem. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ammunition that you could use toward Drake. I'll give you that. A lot of ammunition that you could use toward Drake. You can use the pop shit. He could, he could rebuttal and say, I did rap verses on pop albums. You put out entire pop albums. Like, that is an easy rebuttal right there. You could talk about the baby mom being a porn star. You could talk about Adonis looking like an albino child, if you want to stoop that low. Uh, you could talk about you could talk about the ghostwriters if you want to bring that up, but I don't, think that, I don't think that Kendrick would do that just because he actually knows that Drake 
writes his bars. Uh, there's there's just a lot to say toward Drake because he is a he literally called himself a pop star, not a doctor <laughs> in the song pop star.